Hi, Gary Stearman. It's Monday the 26th. Time for another Prophecy in the News Daily Update. I want to announce again that uh, award-winning and, by the way, New York Times best-selling author uh, Jonathan Kahn is uh, coming to Oklahoma City. We're going to be interviewing here, him here at Prophecy in the News. He's the author of The Harbinger, which has really been widely received, and, and it's a very popular book. Also, Jonathan Kahn is much in demand as a lecturer. Uh, we have uh, managed to secure a, an auditorium for him to speak at tomorrow evening, the 27th, 7 p.m., uh, in the auditorium, the sanctuary of Our Lord's Community Church here in Oklahoma City. That is uh, located at 11400 North Portland Avenue, just off the Hefner Parkway. And I, I'm sure that uh, most of you know where Our Lord's Community Church is located. 7 p.m. tomorrow evening, Jonathan Kahn, uh, best-selling author of The Harbinger, is going to have a question and answer session beginning at 7 p.m. PM. And that's going to be, uh, I think, very, very interesting time for, uh, for all concerned. I want to say thanks also for those of you who are continuing to uh, contribute to the JR Church Studio Fund. We're upgrading our cameras. and We need your help. Uh, our three cameras the, in current use are coming up to 15 years of age, and that's a long time for a camera to last. Uh, we need to upgrade and update and bring ourselves into the 21st century here and uh, get some uh, cameras befitting uh, the, the goals that we've laid out for ourselves broadcast-wise. And we want to thank you again uh, if you have contributed to the JR Church Studio Fund. You can find out about it, of course, right here on our website. I have a question that has come from several listeners, and because it's come from so many people, uh, I'm going to, to address it again. Now, this is from Phil, and Phil says, uh, uh, I lost track of your program for a while, but I just found uh, your video, and or just watched your video on the rapture today, and then I found your website. <clears throat> uh, my comment is this, you said in the video that the man of perdition, or Antichrist, will have to build uh, a temple to sit in, and therefore there won't be a rapture until that's built because the Antichrist will be revealed directly after the rapture. He says, I haven't gotten that from the Bible. Did I misunderstand you? And actually, Phil, you did not because uh, in all of our broadcasts concerning the theology of the rapture of the church, uh, dating back now 20 years or more, uh, J.R. Church and I have, uh, have taught uh, literally for years and years that there will be a temple built by the Antichrist, but it's not going to be built until the church has departed from the earth. And, and in fact, uh, one of the key passages we read is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, verse 3, which says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, <clears throat> and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Uh, well, that day being referred to is the day of the Lord. And, and uh, here Paul is saying that day won't come until there come a falling away first. And we've many, many times discussed the fact that many expositors uh, note that the, the definite article occurs in the Greek text of this sentence uh, in which it says, except there come the falling away first, and, and some have even translated it the departing or departure. And uh, that would refer to the rapture of the church. And that ma the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth uh, himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Well, in order for that to happen, there must be a temple on uh, the temple platform in Jerusalem <clears throat> in order uh, that he be received as the Messiah, which, of course, 
that scripture and prophecy of the Old Testament tells us will happen. A, a man is coming who will be received as Messiah by national Israel, and they will uh, set him up as their Messiah. As Paul says here, he's going to uh, sit in that temple of God, showing himself that he is God. <clears throat> the uh, first mention of that event is back in the book of Daniel, chapter 9, where uh, this is called the abomination of desolation, or the abomination that makes desolate. Uh, Jesus actually quoted Daniel in Matthew 24, uh, saying in uh, the 15th verse of that chapter, when you therefore see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. And that's exactly what we've just read in Thessalonians. Uh, this man will stand up and call himself God in the holy of holies in that temple in Jerusalem. And Jesus said, when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Well, guess what? Uh, he didn't say, let those uh, which be in Oklahoma City flee into the mountains, or those who be in America flee into the mountains. He said, let those be, which be in Judea. Now, that's the general location of the temple. In this case, it would be the temple of the Antichrist. And Jesus is warning his people here that uh, when this event comes, and it, it'll be quite recognizable because it's mentioned several times in Scripture, when that event comes, those of you in Ju Judea don't so much as pack a bag, leave town, flee into the mountains for safety, because the very next thing that will happen is a series of pogroms. In other words, it won't be a healthy time for the Jews then alive. Now, uh, this event occurs uh, because of several indicators that we have in Scripture. It occurs after the church has departed the earth. That's my belief. I know that many of you who are listening to me right now believe other things, uh, and you may write to me if you will. And we've had this discussion before, but I am definitely a, uh, uh, a pre-tribulation uh, believer. That is to say, I think the tribulation uh, will come, will be initiated by the signing of the seven-year covenant uh, by this false messiah. And that's what initiates the seven-year covenant, and the church will be gone before that event comes to pass. And so, Phil, thanks for your question. You did not misunderstand what I said. <clears throat> there won't be a rapture, rereading Phil's letter, uh, until that temple is built because the Antichrist will be revealed directly after the rapture. Uh, so, Phil, you write that qu as a question, and, and I'm, say I'm answering you and saying, no, you didn't understand me. That's exactly what I said. And uh, I've held to that for a number of years. I appreciate the question. And for, for others of you like Phil who may have misunderstood or thought you misunderstood me, I do indeed believe in a sequence of events in which the rapture comes first, the signing of the seven-year covenant comes after that, the revealing of the man of sin in the tribulation temple follows that event. One, two, three. I see that as a sequence of events uh, in prophecy. Once again, thanks for watching. And uh, I, I want to uh, announce that the author of The Harbinger, uh, Messianic Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, is going to be here in Oklahoma City Tuesday night, 7 p.m., the sanctuary of our Lord's Community Church, and he'll be there for about an hour and a half with a question and answer session. If you want to meet the author, here's your perfect opportunity. Tuesday evening, the 27th, our Lord's Community Church, uh, right there on North Portland uh, at the Hefner exit uh, on the Hefner Parkway. Hope to see a lot of you there. And by the way, that'll be an interesting time indeed, just like all times today are very interesting. A lot of, a lot of very interesting things happening, so keep looking up.